Hey guys, uh, get my full unfiltered show the way you can't here on YouTube by visiting thecomicsgym.com. It's free and totally uncensored. Now, I wrote the headline saying, this is why there are no nations successfully run by uh, black people. May or may, may not be true, but I can't name one. Depends what your definition of success is, I guess. Democrat Alvin Bragg, likely to become Manhattan District Attorney in New York City, New York, has vowed, get this now, with a country going up in flames as we speak, um, violence up at every city, has vowed not to prosecute a series of crimes including trespassing, prostitution, resisting arrest for nonviolent offenses. Ooh, who commits those? I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all. That's his, this is what he's running on. And the sad part is, in New York City, it's so fucking fucked up, he's probably, he'll get traction with that. Although, you wouldn't think so. Eric Adams just won the primary. Former cop, head cop for New York, who's very, he won it because he said, I'm going to fucking clean this city up. But other than that, he's a big lib, man. So don't get too excited about that either. But uh, as far as the violence goes, that, that should be priority number. And this jerk off <laughs> who's running to be the district attorney in New York City, I'm not going to, you know, and listen to his logic here. This will make you shit blood. Bragg, the presumptive Democrat nominee in the Manhattan district attorney race, is running on a platform to stop prosecuting a series of what he calls minor offenses despite surges in crime across New York City. He says, I strongly reject any notion the prosecutions for low-level offenses should be used as a proxy for addressing serious and violent crimes, Bragg uh, states his, on his campaign website. We will not deter serious and violent crime through arrest for petty offenses. Do you believe he just said that? Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert. He just said, I'm not going to do what Giuliani did to clean this up and make it the safest city in the country, the safest, largest city in the country for years, in which Bloomberg continued Giuliani's policies. He just said he's going to do the opposite. It was called the broken windows policy. In other words, somebody starts at a petty crime, like breaking a window, you arrest him for that, and he usually has 19 warrants out. It worked beautifully. But shithead here, because he has different values, I don't want to say why, um, we're not doing that. That's the first thing he states, as Eric Adams just wins a primary running on anti-crime. This guy's an attorney? What am I doing a fucking podcast for? I should have went to DeVry and got a fucking... Should have passed the bar to right. <laughs> Unbelievable. And you know what? Like I said, it'll probably be a race. And again, nobody votes. He'll be, he'll be appointed by Soros or somebody. Specifically, Bragg has vowed not to prosecute suspects for marijuana misdemeanors, turnstile jumping, trespassing, driving with a suspended license, prostitution, resisting arrest for non-criminal offenses, and obstructing work of a New York uh, City Police Department. All black crimes. Can I say that without being a racist? All 98% black. Did I make that number up? Yeah. Look it up. I'm probably off by 0.2%. A lot of white people jumping turnstiles and interfering with cops and smoking pot and finding out who their baby mama is on Jerry Springer. Nick, what does that got to I don't know. I'm just saying it's so obvious who he's trying to go lightly on. Is it not? Imagine. Is it because we're black? You're damn right it is. From smoking marijuana to jumping a turnstile, our criminal courts spend far too much time treating minor offenses with the same blunt instruments used to address homicides and other violent crimes. Why don't you talk to Giuliani, stupid? Seriously. Oh, you wouldn't do that. He Italian. He probably racist. In addition, Bragg has said that to reduce mass incarceration, <laughs> who wants that? That's the one that kills me. I say we increase it. There's too, many, too much scum on the streets. You can see the crime in every Libron city going through the roof. Let's build a shitload of them. Have you ever flown across the country and looked down in the Midwest? There's fucking acres upon. We could build fucking huge, huge prisons. 
and put a certain element in those prisons. I can't believe this. We have to, why? <laughs> he will recommend no more than 20 year maximum sentences absent exceptional circumstances. You know, the person's way. In cases where the Manhattan District Attorney does recommend incarceration. <laughs> Is he serious? Is this an onion piece? Somebody. You're a real crumb bum. Good luck with that, Titmouse. Most notably, perhaps, Bragg plans to ensure that every suspect accused of a crime in Manhattan is released from jail before trial, except in cases involving homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, and felony sex crimes. <laughs> oh, my God. What did he do? He must be watching the news and taking notes. If he wins this, I'm going to New York and give him the worst wedgie he has ever experienced. Bragg's agenda comes as New York City experiences an ongoing crime wave as a revolt as a result of its Governor Andrew, uh, I like Snatch Cuomo, his backed bail reform policy. But apparently that's lost on Alvin. Alvin! <laughs> hey guys, watch the full episode of the Nick DiPaolo Show uh, for free on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android, iPhone, Android Mobile, or on your computer for free by visiting thecomicsgym.com or downloading the Comics Gym app.